Hey guys, this is Mr. Boynton, and in today's video, we'll be drawing the female head. All you need is a sharp number two pencil. So we're going to draw two lines here. One is three and a half inch vertical and a three inch horizontal. But you want to start thinking about drawing your heads in terms of fractions. So you don't always have to measure it. So you can make a head any size. Eyes are going to be at the halfway point on the vertical axis. So a half inch down from the top, you're going to put the hairline. And then that part below the hairline, you want to divide it into thirds. One third for the brows, one third for the nose, and then the bottom of the chin. Now, that section under the nose, divide that into thirds. So you get a lip line and then a chin line. So you're like, how big do I make this lady's melon? Well, if you just measure from the brow line to the bottom of the chin, that's how wide the head is. Now you just make kind of an oval, upside down egg shape for the face. Now save this if you drew it out and go ahead and start a new head shape that's much cleaner using these uh, dimensions we've talked about. You want to save that as kind of your template so you know how to set up the female head. Uh, just go ahead and flip the page if you ran out of room and we'll take off with our female face. So a few things you want to think about when you're drawing the female face is that it's going to have a lot less bone and muscle uh, showing. It's going to be a lot smoother and uh, you're going to depend a lot more on your shading skills to make it look good. So the head is five eyes wide and you really want to take your time on this and space out the eyes. Yes, you can make the female eyes a little bit bigger, but don't overdo it or they won't look realistic. You can lay in the female eyes really dark, especially on the upper uh, lid area. Uh, they can be pretty piercing. Um, just got to make sure they're very uh, symmetrical and that they look the same. So one of the most important parts of drawing the female face is the eyes. By adding a lot of eyelashes to the left and right sides of the eyes and to the upper lid of the eyes, you'll really get that strong feminine quality and it will really indicate that the face is female. So now I'm going to go from the hairline one third down and I'm going to go to the brow line and I'm going to start filling in the eyebrows. Female eyebrows are a little bit higher than male eyebrows and again they're very geometric and depending on the kind of person you're going to draw you can draw really dark eyebrows or you can draw very fair haired light eyebrows. So now I go one third down from the brow line to the nose uh, line and I lay in the nose. I just want to indicate the nostrils and give a little bit of shape to the nose. And I want to shade it. I don't want to draw a triangle pumpkin nose. I just want to lightly shade in the dark side of the nose. Very lightly. So to measure in the size of the mouth, you can either just drop a vertical line straight down from the edge of the eyebrow and the eye past the nostril to the edge and this will give you an indication where the edge of the mouth is. You can also do a triangle from between the eyebrows with two diagonal lines down to the nostril and that will show you where the edge of the mouth is. So when you lay in the lips you want to kind of think of a little kid that's drawing a bird in the background. You know how they make a bird that looks like kind of an an M shape and you just squish it down. Uh, now people have all kinds of different kinds of lips. There are thin lips, there are thick lips, there are large full lips. Um, just kind of pump them up the way you like them. Now you're going to shade the lips in and just leave some unshaded areas as you scribble in. Um, those will appear to be highlights on the lips. It's really an effective way to get a good lip texture. So now we're going to add some shading to the face to make it look like there's a cheekbone and some jaw muscles and a chin. And we're going to shade a little bit up on the temple, which is like the side of the head. 
So now we're going to lay in the ears, and ears are between the eyebrow and the nostril. But what's great about the female face is that usually the hair covers the ears, so you don't have to worry about them. I'm just going to go ahead and put in some earrings and some earlobe. Now you're going to want to lay in some hair. So go to the mark at the top of the head, that is the hairline. We're going to go ahead and put in some hair. So the hairstyles that I draw on my female figures, they kind of look kind of 50s-ish or from the 70s because those are the kinds of books I learned how to draw out of. I'm by no means a hairdresser. So if you want updated styles, you can look around on the internet because hairstyles are always changing. So this gal's got some wild hair. I'm kind of scribbling it in with a dull pencil. Again, up at the top, you can see the shine I put in it by not scribbling in the highlight area, and I do that throughout. Now here, I have added in a, a neck, and I've shaded in a lot of the dark side of the face and really worked with the shadow. So now I'm at the end of the drawing. And I want to go back and clean it up. I want to clean up any lines that I have. I want to make the eyes look darker. I want to add in those female eyelashes that really accentuate the drawing. I want to work on the cheekbones and clean those up and fix any shadow problems that I have. So using the techniques uh, that I talked about in this video, you should be able to create a range of female faces. So the more you draw, the better you get. So dive right in and start making those beautiful faces.